Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gear 2 we here, bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Fubuki class destroyer. The Fubuki class destroyers were a class of 24 destroyers for the Imperial Japanese Navy. The Fubuki class has been described as the world's first modern destroyer. The Fubuki class set a new standard for not only for Japanese vessels, but for destroyers around the world. They remain formidable opponents to the end of World War 2 despite being much older than many of their adversaries. So yeah, the Fubuki class here, a very um, interesting uh, ship here, and I would say one of the uh, better Japanese destroyers they really had in service. Uh, a really gorgeous looking destroyer, and uh, I mean, like most Japanese ships, they really do have a um, really kind of a, an art form to, to basically making these destroyers. They just look super nice, and the Fubuki here obviously is no exception to that. Uh, pretty powerful uh, little destroyer here with some decent armament and uh, overall a uh, pretty good looking ship. So uh, let's go ahead and kind of dive in here to take a look here at the uh, ship and see exactly what we're going to be building. Um, we have the front guns here, uh, so a dual turret mounted up in the front of the uh, ship. We have uh, the conning tower located directly after it, some lifeboats and um, you know little uh, anti-aircraft gun positions and stuff like that. As I work our way back, we have uh, the mast here uh, for the ship, as long as all the rigging and all that. Uh, we have the first funnel here, as well as the second funnel, uh, some different various instruments, you know, uh, basically the, um, the torpedo launchers, and then we also have the uh, anti-aircraft guns and all that stuff and just a lot of little various details on along the ship and uh, overall just is a really nice design overall a uh, really good huge torpedo complement with three of those torpedo turrets and we have our secondary or, or other main gun here located on the back so overall really gorgeous ship should make a fun addition to any of your Japanese BAFTA build fleets and looking for a uh, type of um, a type of destroyer anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial we'll begin with our first layer layer number one Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we go ahead and start with layer 1. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started with, we'll be going ahead and placing down a brick upside down stair. Now one thing I do want to mention is that this right here is going to be in line with your water level. So for example, we are going to go ahead and have our water level, where this yellow concrete blocks are. And you can see here, this brick stair is going to go basically in line with that water level, so the top of the brick stair should be poking out of the water just barely. Anyways, with that all sorted out, let's go ahead and continue building. We're going to go ahead and take our red concrete, we're going to go back in a line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Red concrete blocks back, followed by a row of 1, 2, and, sorry, just 2 brick top slabs, and then 2 acacia wood trapdoors back like so. On both sides of this last acacia wood trapdoor, we're going to place down a trapdoor to the side and close it down like that for the rudders. We then want to go ahead and place down an acacia wood fence gate next to the both sides of this red concrete block, and then we're going to place down two end rods back from those uh, fence gates, as well as a skeleton skull coming off that fence gate, like that. After that's done, we want to go and then take our brick top slabs, we're going to place down a brick top slab here to both sides, as well as a row of one and two brick up sound stairs, and then two brick stairs going forward like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 red concrete blocks forward. 1, 2, 3 brick walls, and then 1, 2 red stained glass panes. Same thing right here. 2 red stained glass panes, 3 brick walls, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 red concrete blocks back. And once we have that all done there, that right there is going to set up our first layer, layer 1. Taking a look from above, this is what we should have this layer complete. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer. Layer number two. All right, guys, moving into layer two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with, you're going to place down a stone block on top of this brick up sound stair, followed by a polished black stone button to both sides of that block, like so. We're going to go then place down a light gray stainless pane coming off that block going toward the front, and then we're going to place down a second stone block back from it, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four acacia wood planks. To the sides here, we're going to place down one and two light gray stainless panes to both sides, and then we're going to follow this up with two andesite walls again on both sides like so. We're going to go and then take our stone blocks, go back one, two, and one, two back over here on this side as well as the acacia wood plank there in the center. We're going to go and then place down our polished black stone buttons on the sides here of these two stone blocks. At this point, going back from these stone blocks, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So it ends on top of this end rod here. And we want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three polished black stone blends on the last three stone blocks. Same thing for this row here. So it's just going to go all the way back to this point here. And then our one, two, and three polished black stone buttons there along the sides. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block in between these ones here. And then one, two, and three back. We're going to go ahead and place down our andesite walls to the sides here. And then our light gray stingless uh, pane there in the center. After that's all done, we want to go and then place down a row of acacia wood planks, going all the way back down the center here for the deck of the air or the of the ship here. So just like this, ending at this point right here. Um, and with that all complete there, that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number two for the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three to start with, we're going to place down the inside wall on top of this glass pane here, followed by a item frame to both sides of this wall, and we're going to then place down a crossbow in the item frame and rotate it so it's facing downwards like so. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone slab like so, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of the slab like that, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a daylight detector here in the center and turn this to night mode, followed by a skeleton skull here at a slight angle to both sides like so on top of those glass panes. After that, we're going to then place down an anvil on top of this uh, acacia wood plank here. A skeleton skull to both sides of the anvil. And then we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak grid fence gate coming off the anvil, opened up toward it. And to make the guns a little bit more prominent, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak grid sign on the sides there of those um, fence gate, uh, on the side of the fence gate, that, like that on both sides. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a redstone repeater on top of this acacia wood plank here. And then a dark oak wood fence gate here on top of this acacia wood plank opened up toward the back with a stone full block right here. Now after that we're going to go to the sides. We're going to place down two quartz top slabs like so on both sides there. And then also at this point if you're on Java we can go ahead and use a debug stick here to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of extra detail with some anti-aircraft guns. So going ahead and using our debug stick uh, and using the give command to give it to ourselves. We're going to be going ahead and placing down a uh, full block which will be coming off this section here, so right in front of those inside walls. We're going to place down a lever here on both sides, and then using our debug stick, we're going to uh, select the face of the wall, or the, of the lever, to be on the floor. Same thing over here. And then, if you need to, we'll rotate it by just changing the facing, so that they're facing out to the sides there of the ship like that. And those will be those anti-aircraft batteries right there on both sides. Also, on top of this fence gate while we're at it, we can go ahead and also do the same thing. Place in a lever here and use our debug stick here to change the direction and have this face the floor like so. And again, we'll have this face toward the front like that. After that, we're going to place down a stone block right here, followed by a daylight detector to the side. Turn that to the night mode on both sides and just a daylight detector going back on both sides there. We're going to place down our fence gate here, open it up toward the back, and we're going to then place down a stone brick wall here followed by an inside wall to both sides just like that. Now after we get to this point here um, we're going to then also take our levers and we're going to place our lever here on both sides like so. And after we have those levers down when it comes to these uh, torpedo um, kind of launcher um, same uh, things we did use these glitch beds right here but um, they're a little complicated to do so um, in place of those we're just going to place down a couple snow snacks so about three right here and then a stone brick um, basically a stone brick full block after that to kind of go ahead and make this turret. It's not the same, but it still has the same effect to it that this will be our torpedo um, launcher right here. Anyways, after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair here, followed by a stone brick wall like so. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some pressure plates here. We're going to place down two acacia wood pressure plates like this to the sides here. And we're also going to place down an iron trap door on the sides here like this. We can go ahead and use our debug stick again to go ahead and and close these trapdoors. So we're going to have them set to open to true so that they uh, slip flat like that against the wall. We then want to place down a andesite wall there in the center. And then a dark oak fence gate here opened up to the sides like that. And then a dark oak sign coming off the side there of those fence gates. Just like so. We're going to then place down a stone brick block here. One, two, three uh, snow block or snow pieces. And then taking our levers here, we're just going to place down one, two. And same thing over here, one, two uh, levers there along the side. 
We're going to then place down a andesite wall here in the center, followed by an iron trap door, again to both sides. And we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, another stack of one, two, three of snow, and then another stone brick uh, block like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a end rod on top of this stone block here, and we're going to leave that for as it is right now. And that's only going to be on the left side and the left side only. And then continuing on, we're going to go then place down a row of one, two stone full blocks down the center here, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate on both sides of this first stone block, opened up toward the outsides like so. We're going to continue this on, place down a lever to both sides like so, and then we're going to go and place down our anvil in the center, followed by a skeleton skull coming off both sides of the anvil, then a dark oak wood fence gate opened up toward the anvil itself, and then a dark oak wood sign to both sides of the fence gates, like so. We're going to go then place down another daylight detector here, turn this to night mode, as well as a, another end rod, which will be on the left side here on top of this inside wall. We're also going to place down an end rod on top of this stone block here, and on top of that end rod there is going to be a iron bar. And in the corners here, we're just going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull, about a 45 degree angle, and then on top of those two glass panes there. And with that all done, that right there is going to pretty much complete layer 3. Looking at it from the top down view, this is what we should have for this layer when that all completes. And uh, with that, we'll be going ahead and pretty much moving into our final layers. Uh, layers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Basically, uh, putting the mast on and finishing all the top detail. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers. Uh, we have layers basically 4 for 9. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, uh, we want to go ahead and also place down an item frame if you're on Java on top of this fence gate if possible. So just a cool little feature you can do as well right there. Uh, we're also going to be going ahead and placing down a end rod which will be on top of this andesite wall here in the front. Go ahead and go into this section here, we're going to place down a stone block located here, followed by an item frame on the three sides here of that and we're going to then place down black beds in those iron frames on the sides like this so with the bed facing or the white portion facing toward the back and then right here we're going to place down a black bed also in this iron frame just rotate on its side and on the two sides here of those um of the stone block we're going to place down dark oak signs as well as a stone block here with a skeleton skull on both sides directly behind it just like that we're going to then place down a dark oak fence gate on top of this one open it toward the rear of the ship a dark oak wood sign on both sides of the fence gate. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down another fence gate on top of this one. Again, opened up toward the back there. And we're going to then place down a cord slab on top of this stone block here. A iron bar, which will be in front of it. And then a item frame on this cord slab, which will only be able to place it if you're on Java. And we're going to have the bed rotate on its side. As well as a birchwood sign on both sides of that slab, like so. We then want to place down a row of end rods going up. So this right here is going to be one and two end rods up like so, followed by a andesite wall on top, and then an end rod on top of that andesite wall. We're going to go then place down a end rod coming off both sides here of this andesite wall, as well as an end rod coming off this um, wall toward the back there like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and then continue to work our way back. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall on top of this one right here, as well as a wither skeleton skull on top of it. We then also want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull, which will be going up and kind of back from those andesite walls there. So just like that. We're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on top of this stone stair, taking our dark liquid signs. We're going to wrap around these three sides, like so. And then we're going to then place down a nearest stone brick wall on top of this one that goes up. And a wither skeleton skull on top of that wall. We then want to place down a stone brick stair right here. An item frame to both sides. And then we're going to then place down a snowball in those item frames like that. Followed by a light gray carpet like that on those um, fence gates. After that's all done, we're going to then place down a skeleton skull coming off the front of the stair here. And we then want to place down a lever on top of these two um, iron trap doors and if you're on Java we can also place down an item frame like so and uh, then after we have that done we're going to go and then also place down an iron trap door on top of this wall right here at this point we're going to then place down a uh, row of two levers on these two stone blocks so one and two levers and we're going to also take our item frames and place on top there uh, under the levers if we can do so and then we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off this lever here and going up from this, we're going to place down a 
row of one, two, and three. End rods up. End rod on both sides of the very top one, like so. And then at this point, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a um, stone block, which will be basically going right here. And we're going to then place down a lever on the side of it. We're going to go ahead and rotate this, or basically select the facing so it's facing the floor. And this right here is going to have this selected facing to the west for me, but whatever side has the lever facing toward the outside, and then an end rod coming off that. And the same thing is going to be done back here. Lever, and we're going to change this so it's facing toward the um, west again for us, and then have it selected face to the floor. So just like that out to the side, and again an end rod coming off like that, coming off it to the side there like so. Anyways, with that done, that's pretty much our main structural components, and to go ahead and do the rigging for the ship, pretty straightforward stuff here. We're going to start off by placing down a barrier block that goes up from this end rod at an angle, a stone button on the side here. Then we're going to go up and back two barrier blocks, stone button on the side of the first one here, and then on top of this one like so. Um, after that, we are going to go ahead and then place down another set of two barrier blocks that go up and back at an angle. Stone button on the side here, stone button on top, barrier, again two barrier blocks back, stone button on the side, stone button on top, and then one barrier block here, like so, and that should connect up to our end rod with a, with a button there on the side. Going ahead and go to this section here, dropping down from these end rods, we're going to place down two barrier blocks. That go down like by two, and then we're going to place down stone buttons on both sides of this one, and then one stone button there on the side there of this one. So again, one stone button there, and then these two sides of this barrier block here are going to be covered. After that, uh, we're going to place down a barrier block here, a stone button on top, then two stone blocks back, or two barrier blocks back with two stone buttons on the sides. We're going to go ahead and drop down, go back four uh, barrier blocks. So just like this, we're going to place down two stone buttons on top, two stone buttons to the side. And then after that, we're going to go and drop down again, place down a row of three. A barrier block should connect up. We're going to place down two stone buttons on top of those barrier blocks and then one here to the side like that. After that, we're going to place down a barrier block here. Stone button like that on the side. Drop down again. We're going to have a row of two. And then barrier, a stone button on top. Stone button to the bottom there. Drop down again. Place down our two, stone, our two barrier blocks like that going back. Stone button on top of the first one and stone button on the side of the second one. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically complete our rigging. And with that, that is going to complete what we have there for the tutorial for the uh, Fubuki class destroyer. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This being from a sound the build to my channel or this video if this does appear social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your free your favorite project you guys are working on overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.